Hey YouTube. Yes, this is my uh, Florida shirt shirt. Pretty cool, huh? All right. Anyway, I went for a bike ride yesterday and I found this butter knife laying in the street. It's just a cheap China stainless butter knife. Not sure what's going on with the, the tip. Maybe a little rust. Maybe uh, somebody laid it on a hot burner or heated it over a flame. I don't know. But anyway, I got it for free and I feel like doing a project. So I think I'm going to uh, sharpen it, of course. Put a nice edge on it. Maybe a tonto point and do something for handle scales. But I'm not going to spend any money. I'm going to do this on the cheap with things that I have on hand. All right. So let's see how it turns out. Um, I will, I'm piecing together this video as I do it. So it's going to span a few days. All right. And uh, yeah. So here we go. Okay. First thing I'm going to do is clean this up with some sandpaper. Um, there is a little bit of rust. on the tip and I don't know what else maybe food or something I don't know but I'm going to clean it up and then I'm going to mark it with a sharpie how I want to shape the blade all right so this is just some uh, 150 grit sandpaper working. That works a little better. Rubbing the knife on the sandpaper. Who would have thought? It would be even better in a vise, but for right now I'm just doing it at my desk. Alright, it's not perfect, but it's good enough. Yeah. Good enough. Okay. What I had in mind is a tonto point and just removing as little metal as possible. All right, but it does need a sharp point. So, gonna do. Something like this. Yeah. Something like that. Okay. Well, you notice there's a lot more handle than blade. All right. So I don't want to remove any more than necessary from the point, from the blade. So that's basically it. It's going to be something like that. All right. And yeah, I don't know how hard this is. I don't think it's very hardened very much. But it'll be good enough. Okay, now I'm going to uh, go outside and use a file, maybe a grinder, <laughs> and look for some something for handle material. All right, stand by. Hey YouTube. Okay, so this is my workspace. <laughs> it's a six foot by eight foot metal shed with 
Electricity. <laughs> All right. So here's the knife clamped in the vise. We're going to file it down. to where we drew the line with the sharpie. point I wanted. And I took off very little metal. Now I'm going to file a little bit here so I'll be able to put an edge on this. Alright. Now I'm going to dress it up a little with a sharpening puck and then we'll be ready for handle material. sharpening puck. I use this for axes, lawnmower blade, stuff like that. that lost its pressure while it still had oil in it. So I ripped off the top, and now I can just pour it where I need it. I'm happy with that. That is sharp enough. Alright. Okay, what are we going to do for a handle? I don't know what kind of wood this is, and I don't remember where I got it, but that's going to be my handle material. Alright. 
let's go back inside and do some measuring and tracing. Then we'll come back out and cut it. Hey YouTube. Okay, the main reason I came inside was because my hands are freezing. Can't wait for summer. Alright, so here is our knife. Not bad, right? Yeah, that the edge on this side <laughs> is not pretty, but it's gonna be sharp enough, all right. <clears throat> if you take your time, you can do a better job. I'm just kind of just doing this for fun and kind of rushing. All right. I'm gonna use this block of wood. Um, it's not hardwood, but I don't really care. What the hell? It's a butter knife, right? So gonna do something like this and hmm. yeah yeah something like that it's gonna be a full tang um, exposed tang all the way around and it's gonna be a pretty beefy handle but I will sand it down until it's comfortable. First, first thing is to cut out the, the pieces I'm going to use. So I'm going to trace the handle. If I was really serious about this, I would at least sand it down before I did this part. But it's okay. Yeah, that's better. One thing that makes this, this type of cutting easier is a coping saw. Got this at Harbor Freight, I think for $5. Came with a couple extra blades. Yeah, it's good for cutting around corners. Because you have plenty of room to work. And it's a little skinny blade. <coughs> All right, back outside. Okay, so I cut out the two pieces. I decided this is just way too much. All right, <laughs> way too much. It's gonna take a lot of sanding. So what I did was I cut one of the pieces down this way. All right, so with this, like this, that's a little more reasonable. All right, it's still going to take a lot of sanding, but that's pretty. That's pretty close right there. Just going to sand it up, clean it up. Um, then we got to attach it to the handle. All right. So, going to look for some little nuts and bolts. And I'll meet you back inside. Hey, <clears throat> there's Joey. <laughs> Hi, little boy. All right, I have selected three screws that I had in stock, as my friend Mike likes to say. That will hold the handle in place. I also found some quick drying epoxy that I had on hand. All right. So this is coming together. Okay. First step is to center punch and drill the holes in the handle. I'm going to have three, three holes, three screws. If you're really serious about this, you would buy uh, brass pins or brass rivets from a knife maker supply shop. Um, and I have done that in the past, but 
this is just something I am just throwing together just for the hell of it. All right. So first step is to do center punch and drill the holes. All right. Next, you put one of the handle scales in place and clamp it and drill through the holes in the handle that you already drilled and through the wood. All right. Then you add the other handle scale, turn it over, and drill through the holes that you already drilled through the handle in the wood into the other handle scale. All right. Um, pretty simple when you know how. <laughs> and yeah, this this is a really crappy wood. <laughs> if I had more patience, <laughs> I would find some better wood or even you can buy handle scale material on eBay for like eight bucks for a nice piece of walnut. All right. Maybe less. I don't know. It's been a long time since I bought stuff like that. Anyway, this is just something I'm throwing together out of materials I had on hand because I want it to be totally free. I want to spend no dollars on this. All right. If you don't have epoxy, you don't have to use epoxy. Um, yeah, you could just use the screws. All right. Or if you don't want to do all that, you could wrap the handle in paracord or even duct tape or electrical tape or just leave it as is. All right. <laughs> but that's not much of a project. <laughs> All right. So I am going to go outside and drill and <clears throat> my uh, my digital camera recorder is not liking the cold. So it keeps shutting off. So I will drill the holes and then bring it back in and show you, all right?